If your loved one has diabetes and you don't know what glucagon is, you really need to because it can save a life. This is your Glucagon Basics brought to you by Baylor HealthCare's Diabetes Health and Wellness Institute and MyCare Connect. As we learned in our video on highs and lows, if you experience a severe low and are able to eat or drink fast-acting carbs, you can bring up your blood sugar. However, if your blood sugar drops so low you pass out or become unresponsive, you, and more importantly your caregivers, need to know how to use Glucagon. Before using Glucagon, first and foremost, everyone must know where you keep it. Once you've got it, opening your glucagon kit, you will see a syringe filled with a clear liquid solution and a vial with a powder in it. So now you need to prepare it. First, you'll need to remove the seal from the vial containing the powder. Next, you'll remove the needle cover from the syringe. Then you'll insert the needle into the vial and inject all the liquid from the syringe, essentially mixing the liquid with the powder. Remove the syringe from the vial and gently shake the vial until the liquid becomes clear. Using the same syringe, withdraw all of the liquid from the vial. Inject the glucagon as quick as possible. The best spots are the arm, thigh, or buttock. At this point, it's important to know that glucagon is not harmful. Glucagon is essentially releasing stored sugar in your body to bring up your blood sugar quickly. We kept this video brief and to the point because in an emergency, every second counts. A few other things to keep in mind. It's safest to call 911 first to get someone on the way and then begin the glucagon process. Be aware of the expiration date of your glucagon. It's typically good for a year. If the patient does not awaken within 15 minutes, you may need to administer a second dose of glucagon. Be sure to talk to your doctor and visit our helpful links page if you would like more information on glucagon.